Hello, friends! Today on Crafting with Cocktails, we're going to make a little apothecary shelf. A little shelf that can hold little bottles of things. Anything from shooters to little essential oils to tinctures to whatever you really want. And we're just going to make it like a little potions thing, which is why we have a green cocktail. Yeah! out of the way because last time I spilled shit everywhere. Oh. I'm going to be making it out of this little plaque thing. I'm just gonna make it like this. It's gonna be able to hang on the wall. You put little bottles on little shelves. I pre-cut some of these little pieces just to fit right in. I'm just gonna hot glue everything together because who has time for all that other stuff. Usually if you use wood glue for this, it will hold a lot better. Also, if you're not drinking when you do this, it'll probably be a lot better. So consider that. Just got all this stuff at Michael's Arts and Crafts. I've been going on this ridiculous Harry Potter spree for years, really. But more recently, I've been listening to the audiobooks just over and over again. And I've been loving it so much. I've had such a blast thinking up all of these things that I want to craft now just from listening to the audiobooks over and over again like a weirdo. Magic, we're gonna try something a little different today and film from a couple different angles so you can see what I'm doing maybe not my face that's probably fine who needs to see my face anyway you know that I'm just filling it full of this stuff I'll test this stuff out we start by squeezing a piece in here fits all right good good and how I made these pieces was I just took this like that and I just cut it there and then cut it into thirds kind of they're not even but who needs even when we're having so much fun squish that in and it it sticks in no problem apply hot glue liberally stick it in that's what he said I have all of these bottles of essential oils also I have shooters and they need a slightly bigger shelf as well so maybe Let's, nope, that's in there pretty tight. So hot glue should work really well, guys. So the bottom shelf will be for small bottles, like these, or like these. Oh, see, perfect. I think we'll put the second shelf right around this area. Beautiful. All right, we have our first bits done. Now we need to create little side pieces and then pieces that'll go on the front. To create that extra bit on the sides, just make sure that it is the same height as the piece that you want to put across the front of it. Also consider using clamps because it keeps everything beautifully in place. It's magic. I love it. So cute. <laughs> I decided to add one more shelf to the top of this because it just didn't seem like enough space for all my shooters. Now it's time to paint your project. I decided to paint everything with a black background because I thought that it would give a more mystical sort of look to everything. Then I added another layer of paint on top of it, just a little bit of white, which was really watered down, and started writing little things and drawing little things on it, like I wrote apothecary at the top, and I have little stars on it, and I actually made it match all of the stars that I put onto my pin board that I made for last week's Crafting with Cocktails. Since I wanted to give this a Harry Potter theme, I decided to draw little things like swirls for potions and bubbles and a little cauldron at the bottom. Oh, how adorable. I'm very pleased with how it all turned out. You can put shooters in it, essential oils in it, magic. And I did a bunch of little Harry Potter themed things. So here's some little bubbles right above the apothecary sign, and then there's some candles that are right above a little scales, and then there's little swirly magic thingies right above the Felix Felicis. It's a cauldron with the little stars from the Harry Potter books that's at the top of every page. I thought it was kind of cool. Let's put it up. Lighting rising, <laughs> done and done. Zane's here and he's filming the last little bit for me. So here it is and I'm gonna put it on my new pin board. Magic, look at how cute it is and it matches the edges of my new pin board. God, I'm adorable. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Crafting with Cocktails. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button up above. If you didn't, then what the hell? What have you been watching? It clearly wasn't this. Hey, if you end up making your own apothecary shelf, send me a tweet or something. It'll be great. I will see you guys next time. Wait, what do I say? I don't remember the things that I say. I'll just get on really close. Wink. I'm good. Hi, Zane. Thanks for doing lighting with my vacuum cleaner. You're so welcome. <laughs> so welcome. <laughs>